There is way too much advice getting spread for new software engineers that simply is not true. For example, these pieces of advice can be that good software engineers do not use Google, which of course is a myth. Maybe you'll hear, you need to be able to code everything from your head. Myth, the only way to get a coding job is by creating side projects. Myth. In this video, we're gonna go over nine additional software engineering myths that are completely wasting your time and are completely not true. Starting with myth number one, which is intensity over consistency. Many people will tell you that to be successful in software engineering, you need to work like super hard all the time by putting in crazy hours under a lot of stress. This idea is what we call intensity, putting in a lot of effort and energy in short bursts. For example, you can imagine this like when you're trying to learn a new programming language, you just sit there and you power through a 20 plus hour course in like a weekend. No, that's fine if that is who you are and you enjoy it, but there's something better than intensity. And to me, that is called consistency. This means rather than working really hard for a short amount of time and then getting burnt out, it's better to work steadily every day to get better over a long period of time. It's kind of like when you're trying to run a race, sprinting to the end, you'll get tired and you can potentially quit. But if you're jogging at a steady pace, you'll finish the whole race without ever really feeling super exhausted. The absolute best way to get consistent with learning is by setting up a schedule where you can work for certain times and take breaks. This way you don't get too tired and you learn better and do a better job. In the end, being consistent in your work, especially in something as tricky as software engineering is more likely to make you successful and happy with your work. It's about finding a balance that lets you work well without getting too stressed or too tired because the only way to lose is to quit. Now, myth number two is that you can learn everything in software engineering. Now, the world of coding is incredibly large and it's always changing. If you think you can learn every single thing in this field, you might be setting yourself up for disappointment. It's just not realistic. A better approach is to focus on becoming really good at a few specific areas. At the same time, you should try and have a general idea about other parts of the field. This way you're well-rounded, but you're also becoming an expert in things that matter to you. So become an expert at specific things, but become a generalist and well-rounded in other areas. Remember that learning software engineering never really stops. There's always something new around the corner. However, it's just as important to realize that nobody can know everything. It's okay to have limits. This balance between constant learning and understanding your own boundaries is what makes a great software engineer. Now, myth number three is that hustle culture is bad. Working too hard all the time can actually be bad for you, but that doesn't mean you should totally ignore the idea of hustle culture. It's not really black and white, but there is a middle ground. What's really important is finding a balance that works for you. You want to work hard and show a strong work ethic, but not to the point where you're pushing yourself too much. This is especially true in areas where you need to keep learning new things and adapt to changes often. In short, it's all about embracing a healthy way of working. You should be dedicated and eager to learn, but you also need to know when to take a step back and just rest your mind and your body. That way you can be successful without wearing yourself out. Now, moving on to myth number four is that you need a ton of time to learn coding. There's a myth that you need to spend all your time learning how to code. It's true to an extent because coding Coding does require hard work, but it's not like you have to give everything up in your life to be able to become a coder. You can actually learn a lot if you have good learning materials and a solid plan for when and how you'll study. It's not really about how many hours you put in, but how you use those hours to help you grow. The most important thing is to practice regularly and stay focused during that time. If you can do that, you don't need to spend every waking moment on coding. You'll be surprised by how much progress you can make even with a balanced schedule. Now, quick note, if you agree so far, please bop the like button, which will help others be able to avoid these myths as well. Now, number five is reading is a waste of time. In today's fast paced world where short tutorials and videos are everywhere, it might feel like reading books is pretty old fashioned, but that's not true at all. Books provide a level of detail and a complete view of a topic that you often can't typically find on quick online sources. Books give you a thorough understanding that's extremely hard to match in my opinion. Even though we live in an age of instant information and gratification, books haven't lost their value. They are incredibly useful for deep and comprehensive learning. So while it's great to have a quick resource at your fingertips, don't underestimate the power of a good book to enhance your knowledge. Now, myth 
myth number six is that more code is better. There's a common myth that says the best code is an application that has, you know, millions of lines of code, but that's not true at all. Good code isn't about writing a lot. It's about writing code that works well, is easy to understand and can be easily changed if necessary. You should aim to write code that's clear and to the point. So don't focus on how much you're writing. Instead, concentrate on making your code as efficient and readable as possible. The quality of your code is much more important than the quantity of your code. A well-written, concise piece of code will always last longer than complicated code. Now, myth number seven is adding more programmers speeds up development. There's a popular saying that goes, nine women can't make a baby in one month. This is particularly relevant in the world of software development. Many people think if a project is falling behind, simply adding more programmers will fix the problem and speed things up. However, this isn't necessarily true. Software development involves much more than just coding. It requires careful planning, effective coordination, and thorough testing. When you add more people to a project that's already late, it can sometimes make things even slower. This is because more programmers means more communication is needed, which can be time consuming. Everyone needs to understand their role and how it fits into a larger project. And this coordination takes effort and time. Additionally, within a large team, the project's complexity also increases. It becomes harder to manage all the different parts and really ensure that all the different parts of the team works together seamlessly. So while it may seem counterintuitive, adding more programmers to a delayed project can actually lead to more delays. Now, myth number eight is that good code doesn't need documentation. There's this misconception that if code is written well, it doesn't need documentation. Now, this is true, sort of, to an extent. This idea stems from the belief that good code should be self-explanatory. However, even the most expertly written code cannot explain, you know, infrastructure, CI, CD, and overall architecture. This is where documentation has a huge place explaining the overall application. Moreover, when it comes to scaling or modifying software, documentation provides invaluable context and understanding that the code alone might not convey. It explains the broader architecture, the purpose of various components and how they interact with one another. This level of detail is especially important when a new team member decides to join a project or when handovers occur. Now, finally, last but not least, myth number nine is that software development is just about writing code. It's a common belief that software development is all about just sitting there at your desk and typing. Well, writing code is indeed, you know, a central element. It's far from the only thing that matters in the field. Software development is about problem solving and code is one of the tools on your tool belt. To solve a problem with technology, there are really like three steps you need to do. Firstly, understand the user requirements. So before even starting to code, developers need to know what the software is supposed to do and what problem it needs to solve. Second is system design. This is where developers plan how the software will work and how its different parts of the application will all interact and work together. But the job doesn't end once the code is written. Third is testing and deployment. Testing is a critical step to ensure that the software works as intended and is free from bugs. Deployment means it's made available for users. And even after deployment, there's always something else ongoing like maintenance to fix issues that come up or software updates that are needed. And that's because a good software developer is much more than a coder. They are problem solvers who need to understand the broader context of the software. They play a role in every stage of the development process, from planning to maintenance. It's a field that requires a diverse set of skills beyond just writing code. Just remember that myths are just that, myths. Continue to dive in and learn, friend, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.